and welcome back all right so uh last episode i had left off with a uh, frank discussion about uh the happenings in the server however i had talked about doing a clock didn't i and i completely forgot to do one so i put a little message there at the last uh, end of last video saying we we're gonna do one uh, at the beginning of this video i will hold true to that all right so we need some uh Gold. Ooh, we have a lot. That's awesome. We'll grab our iron. Also gives us an excuse to come get uh, any missing resources that I might have looked over. I'll bring the sandstone because I do need to complete some of the sky fort. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Getting distracted again. All right. So clock. We go ahead and we put redstone in the middle. Surround it with gold. Ta-da! And it's a clock. So the clock indicates, as you can see here, night, the little black bit, day, the little blue bit. So we're coming on to day now, if I'm reading that clock uh, correctly. Now what I do want to do, uh, what I do want to do, is put this into an item frame um, so that I can have a wall clock. So what I'll do is probably... I guess I could put it like right there. Just put an item frame, and then I'll be able to place the uh, clock into item frame. Now, for uh, to make item frames, <clears throat> ooh, voice crack. That hasn't happened in years. Anyways, to make item frames, we need uh, leather. How do we get leather? Well, that's where our cow farm comes in handy. So we're going to go and uh, take care of some cows right quick. All right. I need to start dumping some of this stuff away. You know what? I'll make this chest kind of a tools chest because no real need to bring any of these back up. Well, I'll take the bow. I'll take the bow back. Uh, any other abandoned tools? Yeah, you know, I'll just put all, all my tools down here. There's no reason for me to bring picks uh, topside. I do want to do a little bit of wood chopping. So I'm going to make me a axe. I might make uh, two. Um, they do go very quickly. So I do want to also carve some trees around uh, my little mine here. Oh, we, are, we do have one still. All right, that should be enough. Having two axes should be more than enough. All right, good stuff. So there we go. We got our clock. Let's uh, go back up. Just kind of trying to kill time until it's closer on today. And yeah, okay, cool. So I wonder when day starts. I'll have to learn kind of how to read the clock. I think it's as the blue starts to come into view. That would be morning. And uh, our little bridge here. So I asked you guys what name are we going to have for the bridge? And uh, the only response I got was from Timmy WW. So Mr. Timmy WW, I thank you very much. We are going to go ahead and name our bridge Henry. So say hello to Henry the Bridge. Hello, Henry the Bridge. <laughs> uh, you know how you have that feeling that you don't have Optifine running? One second. Alright, so uh, sorry about that. I do, uh, do obviously have to play with Optifine. As you've seen in the past, it's not a good result when I try without it. Alright, so we need leather. Where do we get leather from? Well, we get leather from uh, these guys' hides. So I don't want to get rid of the cows before I have replacement cows. Come here. There you go. Oh, there you go. And there you go. Alright, you guys make a cow. There you go. And there you go. And there you go. And there you go. We should have all kinds of baby cows now. All right, perfect. And then I guess we should do the uh, we should do the pigs. Why not? One pig, two pig, one pig. Uh, there's I think there's gonna be an odd man out. Yeah. Oh well. All right, now uh, we get some leather. So we'll try to do it not in front of the babies. Uh, baby, baby pig, look away. Nope, nope, couch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hey guys. Let me just let me just kind of uh, just. <coughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. That okay. You guys didn't see anything. Oh, I know you did. All right, this one too. Let's just get on with it. 
because I do have a bunch of baby cows growing up. Uh, I can take take out some of my little uh, friends here. All right. Ugh, so we only got two leather from all of that. Darn it. I wish I had a looting sword. If I had a looting sword, then when it drops, for example, two leathers, I would be getting like four. So that is the next enchantment we're going to hope for, people, is looting on a sword. All right, here we go, here we go. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. You know, I can make that item frame right now. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So we have our uh, clock set up. All right, so we'll go here. And then we take our leather. Oh, I guess you actually have to make a, uh, a frame out of the sticks. Makes sense. And there we go. We have one item frame. And now we'll go completely bonkers, go back downstairs, and place our clock. For one, I don't really trust myself carrying items. I tend to go pop and boom quite a bit. So I don't really want to kill my clock. Now the main area where I'm obviously going to be wondering about time is when I'm at the very, very, very bottom here. But... I don't really want to put it right by my staircase, because right here, I can just go like that, and I'll know right away. Uh, so I guess I can put it... Maybe we'll put it right... Actually, you know what, because as I come walking out, I want to just be... Yeah, that way I can just look at the wall. You know, I don't really... Eh. I don't know how much time it'll save, but you know what? I think clock right... Mm, I want my clock right there. That's where I put in my clock decided. So, to use an item frame, you place the item frame like any other normal block by right-clicking from your hotbar. You then select the item that you want to put into the frame, select it into your hotbar as such, or by using your mouse wheel. I generally don't use the mouse wheel because my mouse wheel is broken on my other computer. Anyways, you then right-click that item at the item frame. Wah! So now that is actually a functional clock. It's telling me that it is noon, um, by the way, I'm reading that. So yeah, the sun's up. That's the sun. So the sun is at the peak of the clock. It's noon. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, as I'm coming forward here... Yeah, see, I can read that. So I could actually get kind of a reading. Like, oh, if it's night, well, how far in tonight is it actually? So that, that's pretty handy. All right, now I'm going to go into uh, woodcutter mode. So I'm going to give you guys some uh, music bed to listen to. And uh, yeah, with the completion of our clock, it's now time to gather some resources. So enjoy this uh, newest mix. All right, be right back, guys. Alright, well, that just got sketchy in a hurry. Alright, come here, little guy. Back up, okay. Come here, little guy. Back up, okay. Come here. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> that piggy just took it. It's like, what? I seen you flash. Good piggy. You, uh, you can take a licking and keep on kicking, little guy. It's pretty amazing. Ah, you know what? I made a uh, rookie mistake here. I came back out of my sky fort without dropping off all materials. 
Let's go get rid of the valuables uh, before I inevitably lose them. So, uh, future plans. Um, stuff I'm thinking about. So, we need ender pearls, right? We've established that. We want to find the uh, stronghold. And I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to go about doing that. I either uh, go camp out at the desert and uh, just endermen hunt and, you know, kill a bunch of endermen, get a bunch of ender pearls, or we make a uh, mob spawner grinder trap. Now, I'm thinking just to do that for the experience alone, um, but I'm also thinking if I'm going to go that far, then I should probably just wait until I get to the end and make an actual grinder there, or go find a stronghold, make a blaze man spawner. I don't, because we are going to need blaze rods. I mean, that's just a fact of the matter. Uh, the two items we need to find the end portal, we need to make what's called an eye of ender. To make an eye, an eye of uh, ender, you need to uh, have an ender pearl, which is found by killing endermen. And you need to have blaze powder, which is found by in blaze rods. You use blaze rods to make blaze powder. Uh, so we need to kill blaze men, and we need to kill endermen. We needed a lot of killing going on. All right. Oh, cool. We have seven leather. That's awesome. Actually, I should make some books. I need sugar cane though, so I'll have to see if I have sugar cane. All right. I'm just gonna do some real quick uh, inventory upkeep. It's kind of boring stuff, but it's also stuff you sort of need to do. Um, I've been pretty slacking on the inventory upkeep. All right, so we'll go ahead, kind of, this is kind of like a gardening box, I guess, best way of looking at it. Gardening, food, that sort of thing. So we'll put uh, any food items. And again, gardening, so we can put uh, saplings in here. <laughs> and this is kind of how I always think of chests is, well, what, what could we put in here? What are they in relation to? So bone, bone doesn't really go in there. It's a mob drop, but if we change it to bone mill, or bone meal rather, that's a uh, item that's used in farming. We can right click and it'll instantly grow uh, some trees. We could actually do that. That'd be kind of fun. Nay, eh, I think I've shown you bone mill before. All right, let's see. Um. I want to say that wood is kind of related, but I think wood should almost have its own box. So we'll give wood and wood related items their own little area to go. Okay, cobblestone. I believe we can actually take these out of here. Move them up one. Yep. So we'll move gravel, cobblestone, dirt. That'll all go into uh, one box as well. And then here. All right, so what can we kind of change about this? So we got wheat, we have eggs, those obviously don't belong. Here's the sugar cane we're looking for. Ooh, and we have books. I forgot we still had books, that's awesome. So we need one more book and we can make a bookshelf. Take away this wood, take away this. All the stuff that just really doesn't belong in here, we're gonna take out of here. All right. <laughs> and there's always a joke that uh, People who play Minecraft are really, really OCD. Um, and, you know, that is true. There are some Minecrafters out there who legitimately do have and really do honestly do have OCD. I am far from it. I'm probably one of the most disorganized people ever. I find no joy whatsoever in organizing a chest. Uh, so, yeah, if it kind of bothers you how I keep things organized, well, that's really why. It's because, frankly and honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> but there, there are people out there that, again, having a disorganized chest will just, it kind of, like, grinds inside of them, you know? They're like, oh, I wish I could go and fix it. And I don't know, man. That's just, again, that's not my bag. That's just not who I am. I, uh, yeah, take no joy in organizing a chest whatsoever. All right, those can get out of there. Ah, see, I always get into kind of a brick wall of where I want to kind of put stuff. This will kind of be miscellaneous tools, I guess. Yeah, you know what, wood chopping, that should go with wood. All right, you guys go with wood. Just kind of more than anything, trying to find a place for everything. All right, that's looking pretty spruced up. Yeah, that's pretty close to where I'll need it. Okay, good. So that's what we'll do. We'll have diamonds, have our lapis. 
our redstone all contained in one spot. We'll put our iron over here. Oh, we still, I'll smelt down that gold for sure. Kind of keep our coal divided. All right, there we go. So that's a, that's a little bit better. But yeah, so not all Minecraft players, you know, are uh, OCD. And I really think that that's kind of something that has been in the, uh, it's been in the media a lot lately where there are people that are just kind of like, oh, I'm OCD. And it's like, no, nah, you're really not. Like, you, you don't really know what you're saying when you say that. You know, just because you, you like to organize or you keep things organized doesn't mean you're OCD. If you have the compulsion, the need, and the absolute drive that it must be done that way or it's going to bother you at night and you can't sleep, then that would be OCD. If you just take a little bit of time to organize a chest, that that's not OCD, people. That's just general organization. All right, we'll put this in. Do, do, do. Hmm. More farming materials. <sighs> All right, I just, I, I hate doing this garbage. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Sorry if I'm being a little too frank there. I just, I do not like this organizing junk. But once it's all done, at least it's done. <laughs> Wood. I don't really have any place for sandstone, do I? Well, I'm going to take these out of here. Because sand, I should be having a lot of sand being so close to a desert, right? Actually, I can use these sandstone. Let's use them right now. And sorry that <clears throat> this episode is a little... Uh, it's a little more free flow than most of my episodes. Usually I'll have a very direct plan as to what I want to do. Um, today I'm just kind of, well, we made the clock. That was something I said I wanted to do last episode. This has uh, been bugging me a little bit, having, uh, having this edge exposed here and this side too, which, whew, <laughs> don't slip off the edge. I don't have any more sand, do I? Well, that might be a chore then. Go get some sand to sort of finish that up. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's build some bookshelves. That's a fun little project. All right, so for bookshelves, we'll need our leather. And we'll need the sugar cane. But, well, there's some sugar cane down there. Okay, good. I was worried that this was the only sugar cane I had, and I was like, eh, doing that, it's its kind of pointless, ain't it? Alright, how do we make paper again? Oh no. He doesn't know the recipe, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is... Well, I know it's not turn it into sugar. Okay, so uh, big shoutouts there to Wikipedia. Uh, whenever I am lost, that's just where I go. No, seriously, um, as a Minecraft or Wikipedia, absolutely an invaluable resource. My uh, sister, who started playing this game when it very, very first came out, she says that she can recall the days where there would be message board posts and people would be like, hey, look, you know, I uh, I put three pieces of paper and a leather in and, and it made a book, you know, and like, or, you know, I put, uh, I put three pieces of wood across from each other, they became this thing called slabs. Like, this game, when it came out, there was just, there was no resources for anybody. So, really, really, really glad there's Wikipedia. Alright, so we have our books there, which you uh, seen the crafting recipe for, and we'll grab some wood. Alright, now I believe... If I'm not mistaken, I really hope that this is the right recipe where I look like a fool. Yes, there we go. So three books, and we have a bookshelf. Why are bookshelves important? I believe we've been over this, sir, uh, but when you go ahead and you put bookshelves around an enchanting table and those books feed into the enchanting book, um, basically they feed their knowledge into that book. Now, uh, you can actually see this if I turn on particles. You'll see little... little... Uh, effects going towards the um let's see i'll put particle ah you know what? why we'll do all all right let's see if we can see some uh there we go see so all these little tiny letters go and float into the book that's pretty nifty i'm gonna try playing of particles today uh so we can see some love hearts going over top of our cows and this should be able to allow us to have a little bit of a higher enchantment um 
I don't really have. Let me see what I have. I can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe we can do our boots. Let's try enchanting our uh, diamond boots. Though I don't think we're gonna get. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. How high can we get? Level 14. I think that's good at producing feather falling uh, three. But you know what? When it comes to, when it comes to diamond, let's let's not rush into the enchantments here. I want to give a very good enchantment all all my diamond gear. So maybe we can make yeah. Let's make a uh, we'll make a new pick. Okay, we'll go one two. So I really 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 want to get fortune. And from what I've heard, using uh, using lesser quality materials in your enchanting table. Um, can actually produce better results, and we got efficiency too. Uh, I, think, I think we've gotten efficiency one. I, have we gotten efficiency two yet? I don't know. All right. Well, hey, you know it's, it's better than getting nothing, right? All right. Let's go to sleep. Wah! Now, one thing I do have to do uh, again: do 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 do. <laughs> uh, sometimes I hate talking. No, uh, w one thing we have to do is go down there and get those um, reeds. Or sugar cane, I don't know why I say reeds. Alright, so we take away the water, we jump on in, and we ride the flow down. Little trick I found out. I really like doing this method. Let's just get you to the ground very safely. Just go with the water. Doop -de doo doo. Just taking a little fall. And let's go this way. Hoop. Ah! I was hoping I'd actually end in the water there. Oh well. Broken kneecaps, no biggie. Just walk it off. Alright, so now we go ahead and break the middle of these down. And we have a bunch of sugar cane. I think we should just go ahead and kind of continue this on. This can kind of be a natural, uh, naturally formed sugar cane farm for us. side of a river bank you just pop them in like that they'll grow I believe they grow about three high so you can just come in here punch the middle leave the bottoms they'll grow back up that's a really really good source to have uh, paper from oh here's some more perfect I'm gonna relocate this one actually all the way over here hmm that last one I don't think I got it that was really weird do 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 yeah there it is <laughs> I I seen that sir you thought you were being tricky didn't you these chickens are just laying eggs everywhere every 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 second I walk around there's like another egg oh chickens are out of control alrighty right right alrighty right right okay so I'm now struggling with what do we do for the rest of the day what do we do for the rest of the episode so we've taken care of our farm here <laughs> you know what I think uh, yeah that's what we'll do we'll harvest our farm and then I think we call that an episode I uh, yeah I do I'm okay with that we touched up a little bit of the uh, base there we were able to breed a few of our cows we got some leather we even bred some pigs we actually did quite a bit today we went and made uh, another bookshelf, so now we can get a little bit of higher level enchantments on our uh, equipment. Now I do eventually want to obviously have the power to do level 30 enchantments. And level 30 enchantments require me to getting to level 30, so I'm thinking of other projects we can do. Um, a dark room might be in the future. Uh, that might be actually happening, uh, see I always do this, maybe next episode. I might start a dark room. Or I'm gonna go into the desert, I'm gonna hunker down with a sword, and I'm gonna hack me some endermen to death. Um, that might be a whole lot of fun. And actually just saying that out loud, I think I know what I'm doing next episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, actually that is Scratch. Uh, so Scratch the plan for making the mob uh, the dark room. Nah, we're gonna go and we're gonna go and uh, just beat the heck out of some Endermen. That'll be really fun. And the idea to go into the desert, by the way, that's from uh, our newest member in the Nocturnal Gaming, Stolen Adam. He uh, made a video where he went to the end portal on his Xbox 360 version, and in it he was remarking how uh, apparently 
um, Enderman mostly spawn in the desert when he's on uh, when he's on the computer. So, well, I'm gonna take that as a pro tip from him, and I'm gonna go hunt in the desert. Now, it might be that that's just his favorite area. I'm not really sure, but from what I gather from his video, that is what he's saying that they do spawn better in the desert. So, lots where we'll go hunt them. All right, so let me just finish up the farm in here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So let me go. Oh, you always you always run out just as you're almost about done. Very effective carrot farm, isn't it? All right, let me go ahead and. All right. So this is really long URL. Standing by Henry the Bridge, and uh, Porky the Pork Chop, Cali the Cow. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And you know, if you did like this video, make sure to uh, sub. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, all that good stuff. You've heard it all before. Anyways, I'm really long URL. You've just been Minecrafted. Mm -hmm.